Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install World of Warcraft on the MacBook Air. And this is a quick, easy way that you don't have to download um, the whole game, like about 30 gigabytes and all that, and, or even just buy an optical drive just to install a game. So this is a quick, easy way I found on the, um, my Mac, and this is a, actually one of the easiest, fastest way that... Um, I have used uh, to install World of Warcraft and I, you can do that with any computer not only the MacBook Air this is a quick easy installation now the only thing you guys need before I start this tutorial you guys gotta have it installed of course on a, any computer so this is a pretty useful um, because if you like bought a new computer and you want to get World of Warcraft like I did on the new MacBook Air 2010 and I wanted to get World of Warcraft on it and it has no optical drive so I was like should I buy an optical drive but I didn't want to purchase an optical drive just to install a game so I found this way it's a pretty pretty easy way uh, to install the game on the MacBook Air without even uh, uh, getting an optical drive the only thing you need is a, a flash memory that holds up to uh, 30 gigabytes I have uh, Western Digital right now connected to a computer to show you how the tutorial works. Now I'm on, I'm on my iMac right now recording this video and I already have uh, World of Warcraft installed and all the patches so that's about uh, 30 gigabyte of um, uh, patches on the game itself. So let's go ahead and show you guys how to uh, start this uh, tutorial. First um, go ahead enter Safari. First uh, I do want to say that I'm doing this on a Macintosh, but it does work just fine with a PC as well. All right, you're gonna enter the World of Warcraft website. I'm actually on Europe, so it's gonna be wow-europe.com, uh, and you go here on the side account management. Enter my username and password, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, after you're done, you're gonna get um, inside the account management. And after you get inside the account management, you're gonna find uh, download the full game client. And here you got the full game client, and you got for Windows and for Mac. I'm gonna go ahead and download it for the Mac. It's gonna take a little while. It's a 38.6 uh, MB, but it's better than downloading a whole 30 gigabyte. So it's kind of worth it. All right, guys, I'm gonna wait a little bit till it downloads, and I'll be right back. Guys, I'm back. It's all done right now. You guys can see right here. You got a, uh, you got the installer. So go ahead, guys, and uh, double click on it, and you'll get a window um, like this window. Let me guys show you guys like this window, and it's gonna install a couple of uh, patches. Uh, it's not a couple of patches actually, just uh, one little patch. It's about uh, 30 MB, something like that and it's gonna go ahead after that try to install the big patch it's about 30 gigabyte so you just quit it don't do that on uh, go back to your computer where you got world of warcraft installed make sure um, you got all the patches installed and you just go to the folder right here i'm gonna show you guys you go right here and the world of warcraft folder and you just want to copy the folder copy and this is my hard disk and you just want to copy it inside here so that's the, po the point of the copying I just want to move my full installed World of Warcraft with all the patches from my iMac to my MacBook Air so I just copied this but guys you have to make sure that you just did the first uh, uh, installing of uh, the WoW installer so at least you just get the World of Warcraft launcher and just don't do the updates, the patches. You don't need to just do that. All right, and after you guys are done with all that, you just do what I said just now, just copy the World of Warcraft folder on your computer and just copy it to a hard disk. So you just take it back to the MacBook Air. And after that, on your MacBook Air or any, uh, on any computer you want to install World of Warcraft in and you don't want to download all the patches so you just go to the my password where your external hard drive I mean and go to World of Warcraft and just copy it again 
and just drag it to the place where you have the World of Warcraft uh, folder here. This folder, um, uh, you, you should get it when you have installed the online installer, uh, which is here, this installer right here. And you should get this folder, just override it. You should just override it, and you should be all done. That's about it. It's quick and easy, and you don't have to download the patches all over again. The only thing you have to guys, you have to do is you have to have the full installed um, uh, World of Warcraft on one computer or any computer in your household, just so you can transfer the folder to the a new computer which you want to install World of Warcraft in. So that's about it. You j that's a quick way to install World of Warcraft without downloading any patches and all that. And just making a recap, all you need is memory that hooks up uh, up to uh, 30 gigabyte. I got a Western Digital, which is pretty good. It's about 250 gigabytes, so that's more than enough. And the other thing you need, you need to have a World of Warcraft. Uh, uh, installed fully on a, any computer and you just drag the as I said the World of Warcraft folder and put it inside the hard disk and just copy it to the MacBook Air like I did without even getting an optical drive that's a quick easy installation and it's actually pretty fast you, you can install it on any computer that way so thank you guys for watching Go ahead and comment, let me know what you guys uh, think, and if you need any help, uh, I'll be glad to um, help you guys. And do give me a thumbs up if you like this video, and subscribe for more tutorials, reviews, and unboxings from tech, and anything cool. Alright guys, bye bye.